Welcome to another video by WA Courses. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at another great option that allows us to personalize the layout in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The tool that allows us to do that is the Quick Access Toolbar, which can be found in the top left corner of Word, like here, this is the quick access toolbar. We can also find it in Excel right here and PowerPoint right here. The purpose of the quick access toolbar is exactly what it suggests. It gives us quick access to some tools, buttons, and settings. Let's take a look at the custom settings in Word first. We have the quick save icon, we have the undo button, and we have the redo button. In Excel, we have the same buttons. In PowerPoint, we have an extra button here. This is the Start Slideshow from Beginning button. Now, normally, to do this, I would have to go to the Slideshow tab and click on the From Beginning button. But having it up here in the Quick Access toolbar gives me quick access to that option without having to go to the Slideshow tab first. Now, at the beginning of the tutorial, we talked about personalizing the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint layout. What exactly did we mean by that? Well, we can add additional buttons that we use frequently to the Quick Access Toolbar. Let's have a look at Word. By clicking on the little arrow here, we can choose which other functions we would like to add to the Quick Access Toolbar. Let's have a look at the New button. Now, in order to open a new document, we would have to go to the File tab and select either a blank document or one of the templates that are here. If we add the new button to the Access Toolbar, we will simply need to click on the new icon and open a new document. Let's close this down now. You can add whichever button to the Access Toolbar you like. Let's add Print Preview and Print, which I use a lot. There are a bunch of tools you could add to your toolbar by clicking on more commands. You can see a full list of all the buttons you could add to your quick access toolbar. So if I wanted quick access to the add table button, I would click on it, click on the add button and it's ready. Mm. Look at all these buttons. Oh, let's go ahead and add the spell check and press OK. Now you can see all the tools I added in the quick access toolbar. Now before adding them up here, if I wanted to add a table to my document, I would have have to go on to the insert tab and created my table from there. The spelling and grammar check, I would have have to go on to the review tab and click check document. We also have the option to make the quick access toolbar appear below the ribbon by clicking here, show below the ribbon. So our quick access toolbar is below the ribbon now. I'm not comfortable with it there, so let's put it back in place. Show above the ribbon. Now let's move on to the Excel layout. 
the quick access toolbar is right up here. We have the quick save button, the undo button, the redo button. Again, by clicking here, we can add whichever buttons we use more frequently. So I would like to add the new button. There it is, new button. Just by clicking there, you open a new file. The sort ascending, which comes in handy a lot. And the touch mouse mode, which allows you to switch between touch mode and mouse mode, especially useful if you use Excel or mobile devices. Again, from more commands, you can choose whichever buttons you like. Simply click on the button you like to add, click add, and OK. Now let's jump over to the PowerPoint layout. And here's our quick access toolbar. Let's customize it now. Click on the arrow, more commands. Again, a dialog box opens up. And now imagine I wanted to remove something from the toolbar. For example, autosave. Click on it, click on remove, and it's gone. Now, Take a look up here. Here it says only popular commands. Now we can choose which commands we want to see in this list. So commands not in the ribbon, or we could choose from all commands. Look at all these commands. But for now, let's just stick with popular commands. Commands that I use frequently in PowerPoint are, of course, add animation. So let's add that. And of course, bring to front for working with pictures. So let's add that. And of course, new slide. So let's add that one too. Now, I can even change the order that they appear in the access toolbar with these arrows. So click on the one you want to change. And by clicking the arrows, you can position it wherever you like. As so. OK, so we're ready. Let's press OK. And we see now the buttons we have selected in the order we have selected. Now, another way to remove a button from the quick access toolbar, we said one way was from more commands, click on the button and select remove. But another easier way is just to right click on the button and select remove from quick access toolbar. Remove and remove. I really like the quick access toolbar in Word, Excel and PowerPoint. I think it's a great way for us to customize these programs so that they work better for us. Now, the quick access toolbar is also available in Microsoft Publisher. So if you use it, make sure you check it out there too and make your adjustments. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it very useful.